Ho, ho, ho! It is the Bob and Annie Christmas special, and I'm Bob. I'm Annie. Yes, you are, and yes, I am, and it is Christmas time. It is! It's your favorite time of the year. Mm, something about Christmas time. <laughs> Like that, that makes you sing. <laughs> That's my favorite, yeah. I don't sing it as raspy as Brian Adams, but mm -hmm. uh, what's your favorite? Now I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And that's where I have to stop before YouTube flags this for copyright infringement. But yes, it's Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You is my favorite song which I know is uh, a lot of people's not favorite song. No. No. And I think you sing it, you say, all I need is my Bobby. Yes, no, I, I do. No. <laughs> she's, she's singing Big Mac now because it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I logged into the McDonald's app and it, unfortunately the offer does not extend to us here in Canada. Ooh, yeah, mm -hmm. she's selling hamburgers now. She, she is. Needs some money. Yeah. Um, but the, the, we can't get it, but guess what they can't get? Hmm. Tim Beebs. That's right, Tim Beebs. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> we got it twice, in fact. Yeah. So we have two Tim Beebs boxes that we're going to be uh, selling in the new year. No fanny pack yet. No. I, I haven't got know. that. But cut the cholesterol and give us the sweet stuff. We take it here in Canada. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Nobody says that. Nobody says it. Uh, but speaking of songs, some of the songs, you hear Christmas songs every year and different people sing them all the time. Some of them are really bad. Yeah, they are. Like I heard Willie Nelson singing, la, 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 and I didn't think he was going to get through it. You know? <laughs> I'd like somebody guessing uh, a puzzle on the Wheel of Fortune, trying to sound it out. It was terrible. <laughs> but uh, one of the songs they say is, is one of the worst songs, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. What? No! It's a great song. And I just want to give a shout out to... Garden City Productions here in St. Catharines. I went to their Christmas show last weekend and it was phenomenal. And one of the songs that they did as a choir was You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. And it was freaking amazing. So thank you for that. Thank you for bringing and shedding a light on one of the most underrated Christmas songs ever. Lady Gaga, not so popular for it. She did the, uh, the Christmas tree. Apparently people do not like this song. Which one? The Oh Christmas Tree? Yeah. Oh Christmas? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. I thought oh, it was Oh Tannenbaum. Yeah, yeah, Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's different. <laughs> oh. um, wonderful Christmas time by Paul McCartney. Bing, 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 bing. I just, oh, that annoying one. Yeah, that's terrible. I guess the keyboard is a little annoying. A but. little bit. Only through the whole entire song does that riff keep going on over and over again. Yeah, and the chipmunks. Yeah, I don't understand it. It's a staple. It. It's a staple. I don't understand what the chipmunks say most of the time. It's just a lot of... And then it's, dude, Alvin! I understand just wants that. a hula hoop. That's all. <laughs> oh, is that the... Yeah. yeah. I'm 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 I know what you're saying. There's devices to speed your voice. You don't have to try. Uh, all I want for Christmas is a hippopotamus. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. That's another song that was done at the Garden City Productions uh, Christmas concert, sung by young Joey, who is nine years old, making his stage debut. And Joey. he was phenomenal. And that song is hilarious because you really don't want a hippopotamus. They will kill you. Like hippopotamuses, yeah. hippopotami, hip whatever, plural mm -hmm. of hippopotamus, will murder you. And I'm being frugal thinking of the... the um... The food bill, too, for a hippopotamus. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. Never mind the fact that they'll straight up kill you. Yeah, they'll straight it, up kill it, you. It, It'll drain your bank account trying to feed a hippopotamus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, and people also do not like Santa Baby by uh, Michael Buble. <laughs> I guess because it's just predominantly not sang by a, a male lead. They don't like his version of Santa Baby. Santa Baby. Mm -hmm. ooh, 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 get some bubbly. <laughs> Drink. Pass the bubbly to me. He leaves that out for Santa. <laughs> and then Christmas Shoes. Have you heard this song? It's the, the new, no. new song is the group. I think it was their only hit. What, Why what? you do what, one hit wonder that's a Christmas song. I don't understand. What's the song about? It's about a, guy, a kid wanting to buy shoes, Christmas shoes for his mom. And then she's sick. And then near the end, he's just talking to the dad. And it seems like the mom is not there. I don't want to give it away. 
They kill the mom? It shouldn't be in a Christmas song. They kill the mom in a Christmas song. Yeah. That is, I agree, 100% the worst Christmas song ever. I, I really take particular issue when moms are murdered in the name of art. So, I mean, it's not a homicide. She died. Of, <laughs> yeah. Of... Well, the author, the the person who wrote the song, murdered the mother by making her whatever. I'm sure she died from cancer because that's what they all that always what happens. That was. Sad. I get really angry about that. So. And that so, shouldn't be played at Christmas. We should no. just have cheerful stuff. Yes, we have the whole rest of the year to recognize how miserable our lives are. So, mm -hmm. you know, fa la 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 la. La 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 la. Um, there's some traditions that are awkward. I mean, we probably have awkward traditions. People probably, oh, you light up the tree and you do this. And uh, In Wales, they parade a horse skull around. And apparently you're the lucky one if you get to do this. Neat. Seems awkward. A little bit. Uh, but maybe not if you grow up there. It's true. We're Gu not making fun of other people's traditions. Yeah, no. We just don't understand them. Guatemala, I, I can see this. They burn the devils. So it's a good luck thing. You yeah. go and sweep up all the dust and dirt in your house, take it to the, I don't know how much you're going to have. It must have a big pile. They take it to the town area and then they burn it up and that's burning the devil up. Yeah, man, burn the devil. Which is cool. Um, they also burn a goat in Norway. It's not a real goat. Oh, Jesus. It's a, <laughs> no. Why would and you they burn a goat for Christmas? <laughs> no. Burn a goat. Okay, not a real goat. They they make a forty foot goat out of a okay. straw. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. Like burn a... that one. That's cool. But leave the little goats. You know what I love? I love goats in sweaters. That's my favorite thing. And especially at Christmas time, there are so many goats wearing Christmas sweaters right now. It oh, just yeah. makes me so happy. So I'm glad none of them were burned in the tradition no. of, where was that? That's in Sweden. In Sweden. Could <laughs> yeah. you imagine are you trying to phone a friend in Sweden? Phone a friend, what are we on? Who wants to be a <laughs> Swedish millionaire? Uh, but you call him and, and he never has time for you. Sorry, like, I got to burn my goat. Ah, come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm building the goat. What? You know what? It's a big thing. And then some of it gets a little horrific. Um, there is a story. <laughs> nothing yeah. nothing says Christmas like a little bit of terror. Putting What's scare that? scare into the children. Uh, in South Africa, they tell the kids not to eat the cookies. The cookies are for Santa. Oh, you would not like that tradition at all. And apparently there's a terrible story about someone eating the cookies. And I thought, what, did they poison? Was it poisoned? No, there was a kid named Danny, and this is the way folk folklore goes in South Africa. Danny ate Santa's cookies, and his grandmother went into such a rage, she straight up murdered him. <laughs> I, oh, no. I don't know. So <laughs> apparently Danny's ghost will haunt, will haunt people you. on Christmas. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> that is the worst thing oh. I've ever heard, Bob. Wow. Oh my God. Well, I got you know, then that must have been you. You were Danny in a previous life, yeah. I think, because you. There's no way you. No cookie left behind for you. Yeah. <laughs> you well, yeah. For the sheer enjoyment of a cookie, you're gonna straight up. You're gonna die. Somebody. Die. Dead. Oh. That'll teach you. Jeez. <laughs> touch the cookies. Well, um, we hope that your Christmas doesn't end in murder. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> hope you have a great Christmas. And you know what? Between you and me, enjoy the cookies. All the cookies. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Danny. <laughs> Anyways, have a great holiday season. Merry Christmas, everyone. He murdered over a cookie. That seems well, a little that, too much. That'll teach you. You need to listen to your elders. I've heard of or you die with a wooden spoon <laughs> for taking the sauce or whatever, but cookie? Cookies love. <laughs>